customers expect nowadays from this company and again with all these uh, new means of uh, communications and like venting uh, against the companies through social media and all those kind of things i mean companies uh, are really on the spot more than ever no well and, and everybody keeps saying oh we have all these tools now we have twitter and we have facebook and and on all these avenues to communicate. Yes, that's true, but those are only vessels to use. You still have to have the character. You still have to have the guiding principle, the morals of your company that says, no matter what way, what way I communicate, I st this is what I'm going to communicate. Yeah. And that's the key that sometimes gets lost in this high-tech world. So, Jason, your your book uh, just is coming out, right? Uh, but uh, you uh, touch a little bit on the current crisis that GM is having with with all the recalls and all of those kind of things. Uh, is that true? Is that you include some of that in your book? Yes, that's the, actually the epilogue of the book. It's titled "Government Motors on Fire," and I was a consultant to the head of PR at GM during the fake Chevy Volt fire crisis, and I say fake because there was nothing wrong with that vehicle, nothing wrong, it was NHTSA out of control, and but I will say what GM did, they put the safety and satisfaction of their old customers first, they offered to give free loaners, they offered to buy the vehicle back, very few uh, Volt people took them up on that offer because they were so loyal and they appreciated the way GM handled it. That's why I am absolutely amazed and flabbergasted about this ignition.